Hello, my name is Scott Monty, and I wanted to take a minute and give you some background on the mobile primary care rotation opportunity. Uh, this will run as a longitudinal rotation 12 weeks. It will actually be beginning for the first time this year. Uh, I want to give you a little bit of background about the practice. Uh, it services patients in really three primary settings. Uh, patients can be found in their home. They can be found in the assisted living facility setting and the skilled nursing facility setting. Uh, the practice has roughly 1,500 to 2,000 patients that are community dwelling, that being those patients that are in the home or in the assisted living, and a similar number uh, in the skilled nursing facilities throughout Buffalo uh, into the southern tier of western New York, uh, meaning Batavia, uh, Bath, Painted Post, Horseheads, uh, and at least currently up into Lake Placid uh, in the northern part of New York. So pretty robust practice. I think a very interesting option for anybody that has um, some interests in ambulatory care or geriatric care management. Uh, from a functional standpoint, the rotation will be led by the pharmacist that actually is employed uh, at mobile primary care. Uh, their offices, their administrative offices, I should say, are down uh, downtown Buffalo, right on the waterfront, 40 La Riviere Drive in Buffalo. And Mark Leonard is uh, physically located at the site and would be your day-to-day -day, uh, preceptor. Uh, I'm also a good colleague with Mark Leonard and would be there for co-precepting purposes, uh, development of some clinical activities and clinical knowledge base as well. Uh, but to be clear, Mark Leonard would be your preceptor of record. And we will run it as concurrent, uh, or excuse me, back-to-back -back six, six week sections uh, focused in ambulatory care. Uh, and then a second six weeks that would be more elective based, which could be either a continuation of direct patient care uh, or other non-direct patient care activities. And we'll sort of describe the, those rotations as both are going to be attached here. I do want to take a moment to talk a little bit about the practice culture. Uh, what's being sought is st our students that are really motivated to engage in clinical pharmacy programs, um, especially if you think you might be interested in any type of clinical job coming out of school, uh, or if you're thinking residency or even fellowships, it could be a really nice primer. I'm very big on teaching clinical process and making sure people are well equipped to step into residency day one. And I also uh, am going to be very clear that you're going to have to be comfortable working with physicians and advanced practice providers, uh, and obviously pharmacy department uh, and MAs and RNs and all those types of folks that you'll find in the medical setting may not be completely comfortable with that as you come in, but that certainly is an objective is to get you comfortable working in these uh, sort of robust interdisciplinary teams. And again, I mentioned uh, you're going to be providing care for people that are in a very wide range of settings. They could be in their home, assisted living facilities, skilled nursing facilities um, here at the administrative office. Um, there's no patients that come in. There's no face-to-face -face interactions that way. It's really going out to the people um, at these different settings and, uh, and being with the providers. If you're working more on project-oriented things, you'll be back at the administrative offices uh, with Mark Leonard. Telemed, pretty robust program here with telemed, remote patient monitoring um, as well. So these are things that you'll get um, you'll get uh, integrated into and experience with as well. And I do expect that you're going to work with your pharmacy preceptors. Uh, you're going to provide services uh, for several different clinical pharmacy programs and initiatives that we have up and running, perhaps even some research projects that we have uh, coming through with some grant work. Um, and my whole goal is to allow you to really uh, create your confidence, develop some independence and assertiveness within this type of a practice setting. Uh, and again, especially for people that are going to be interested in uh, ambulatory care careers, uh, even business development might uh, be of interest in residency for sure. So from a formal standpoint, uh, I mentioned where the practice site is located, very easy to get to right off the throughway. Uh, Mark Leonard, great guy, is going to be your preceptor of record. And from an overview standpoint, you'll interview, integrate into the practice uh, in those three main uh, locations that I had mentioned. And you're really gonna be reporting to the pharmacy department and working with the interdisciplinary uh, clinical practice team. Specific goals, work with your pharmacy preceptors, work with your physicians and uh, APPs as they call them, nurse practitioners uh, and physician assistants and be able to interact with staff as well. You're gonna participate in things that are funded, um, different clinical pharmacy programs, chronic care management, uh, different things in advanced wellness visits, working on um, helping physicians get through their um, activities as well. All these things build into sort of the pharmacy department budget. Uh, we're going to design and we're going to implement good drug therapy regimens, especially geriatrics. Uh, people do have interest in geriatric. Obviously, people that are homebound and in their homes, assisted living and nursing, you're going to have probably an 80 to 90 percent um, uh, uptake of geriatric patients. Uh, and you're going to really work on de uh, developing your disease state and drug info knowledge for a, a practice setting that can be pretty fast paced. Uh, so again, that kind of lends into those folks that are looking more towards clinical careers and residency. 
when you finish um, what's the objectives you should be able to integrate it into any primary care practice workflow if we do it properly uh, you'll have fluency with EMR records using them how to uh, review the med profiles and, and review again very big on clinical process for anybody that finished the farm care curriculum uh, you've probably heard me use the word process a million times and nauseated from it but that is a big part of clinical practice uh, you'll know how to interview, you'll know how to complete med recs, and you'll be working on different disease states. Uh, and again, think geriatrics uh, or people that are a bit more disabled. Uh, you're going to get a pretty wide range uh, of disease state management. You'll know how to write notes for physicians, uh, SOAP and other formats, uh, and you'll be able to use your verbal skills because you'll have one primary project that you'll be responsible for uh, during the course of the rotation. We'll do your interim and final grading as well, uh, and pretty typical from that standpoint. So that's really the ambulatory care side of things. And then we buttress that with the um, either direct or indirect patient care aspect of things where I'd really like to make sure that we focus on, um, you see there the goals, all the practice site, the preceptor record, all that's the same, same, same fundamental structure. Uh, it'll be more drug info based um, and you can continue on in patient care activities, obviously, but to be able to build your drug information skills, uh, to be able to retrieve information efficiently and not be spiraling, uh, to be able to practice with um, providers and, and work on quality improvement programs for things that are currently going on in the practice, um, cost-saving initiatives, med reviews. And I love it when people can, can move into the development of conceiving an idea, developing it, proposing it, and even seeing it through to actual implementation. These are the fun parts about medical practice. Um, and you can see sort of the, the different projects that you could be working on. Uh, throughout the course of the rotation, could be med protocols, could be evaluating med lit, could be looking at different guidelines, working with Dr. Collins, our medical director here, uh, for variation reduction or working, making sure that practice, uh, practices are consistent uh, among providers, uh, looking at practice workflow and metrics if, uh, if you have time to get into that. Um, Technology is pretty robust here at the practice with different uh, remote patient monitoring uh, and obviously with telemed. Uh, so understanding its use and how to use it uh, to your benefit on a day-to-day uh, and then how do you integrate with community resources, social work, all those kind of things. So that's a, an overview of the rotation. Uh, I've done primary care type um, precepting for many years. I think this is an incredible opportunity, um, again, for anybody that even thinks they might want to get into some clinical career or not real sure if they even want to do it. Uh, I really encourage people to work with providers, work with people that are integrated into primary care type settings uh, as a foundation for going forward. You'll know if you love it. Um, and I think we can help you realize that. Thanks so much.